welcome along to uh, Blue Tube, and today we're going to do. I wonder what we're going to do. Well, if you've read the title, you obviously know it's going to be a sword, uh, but it's a new chrome. So here it is, all right, and it's got the uh, finger guard as well. And uh, a little twirl, I'm sure if you can see it there, because I can't see the actual uh, <laughs> camera, camera lens there. I've got bad eyes. Anyway, so what you need to do, get your chrome. Oh, it's going on the floor, never mind. Uh, inflate the chrome and leave about five fingers uninflated. All right. Um, if you're not making this in a chrome, um, the, the chromes are a little bit longer, so you might have to adjust things a little bit. So anyway, you need a uh, two, three finger bubbles. All right. There's your one. Squeeze air on a little bit. There's your second three finger bubble. Tie the knot round the uh, second twist and uh, wrap it round and push it through once, and then get the knot and push it through twice. Make sure that is secure there, so it won't come undone. You're then going to need the handle, which will do about a six finger bubble, about there. And now you need um, three three finger bubbles, and you need that three times. So uh, there's your uh, three finger bubble, squeeze air along a bit, another three finger bubble, another three finger bubble. So these go together, and uh, you need to do that again uh, twice more. So three finger bubble, squeeze air along a little bit, three finger bubble. Another three finger bubble, there they are. Put that into the same section. And then once more, three, three finger bubbles. There we go. And then they go down there. Wrap them around a few times, make sure it's nice and secure. Just for you boys, and probably some of the girls will be uh, whacking each other with this. Whacking it, that's now sometimes you get these ridges, all right? So uh, what you can do is to get hold of the blue and just smooth it down like that and uh, it smooths the ridges out a little bit. All right, now you need your other chrome, whichever color you like. And uh, on this one, um, I've left about six or seven fingers on in place. You're not gonna use it all. You need two, um, two finger finish twists. So uh, squeeze the air as you do the second run. Uh, tie the knot round the second twist. And then take the knot over the top and uh, twist one of those bubbles and that gives you your, your two pinch twists like that. If you like fish lips, you can do them singly if that's how you prefer. Uh, that then gets wrapped around this joint here. And uh, there we go. One of those pinch twists at the top and at the bottom. And then you're gonna wrap the, um, the purple chrome, squeeze air along. Uh, in between these um, the joints there, so that gets wrapped around like that. So it looks like this, and then uh, so on my one, that's about more. Oh, it's probably about seven or eight finger bubble. All right, so it gets wrapped around there. Wrap it in the two uh, pinch twists, there we go. and it should sit looking a little bit like that. All right, if this is a six finger bubble, I normally do this about an eight finger bubble for the for the finger guard, so it just drops down and that. So squeeze air along, so four, eight finger bubble there. And then you need a three finger bubble here, and it's this twist that's gonna go into the uh, center here. So uh, that will go in there, wrap that around, and uh, if I can show you. So that three finger bubble here on the purple, you push it through one of these um, three folds, the uh, three three finger fold uh, twist, so uh, that gets pushed through there, there you go, so that will stick out, and because that, that gives you the room to put your fingers in, alright, so that's that section, now you need um, two three finger bubbles on the purple again, push it through the next one, and then two more three finger bubbles and push it through the last one. So uh, squeeze air along a bit, three finger bubble, another three finger bubble. Oh, make sure you twist it so it don't come undone. <laughs> uh, this one goes, uh, wrap it around the centre there. And uh, there we go. And then you uh, get this one and push it through. I'm not sure if you can uh, see there, but just push it through. And then the last one, you need two, uh, Three finger bubbles. Again, it's wrapped around that centre. And that purple one, uh, that's all you need on it. So get rid of that in your favourite method. All right. Don't use your teeth, whatever you do. Uh, you might want to tie that up. And I've even got with me, look, here we go. 
I do have my scissors. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Semi professional today. And uh, so this, um, these two three finger bubbles get pushed into this last um, silver. Right, push those through there gently. Turn it all around. And uh, there we go. There. So it should sit a little bit like this. There you go. And uh, you can put your fingers in there and sh sh swash back in the way. Um, if this is a little bit on the softer side, um, softer side, um, you could um, wrap this around a couple more times. And uh, there we go. Just to make sure it's nice and uh, get a further flame on your sword. All right, there you go. And, uh, and it also does give you like a, a skull face here, doesn't it, on the handle. So anyway, so there we go. There's our uh, saw. Hope you like it. I'll give it a little twirl there. We'll twirl it around this way and this way. And if you could subscribe to um, Balloon Tube, that'd be fantastic. It should be a, a link or something, a button down there. And uh, thanks very much for watching. And we'll see you again sometime. And uh, I hope this is useful for you. Cheers then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.